Hello everyone, in this video we are going to compare SolidJS with Next.js. So in the previous two articles, we built a basic to-do app with SolidJS and a basic to-do app with Next.js. In this article, we'll compare several differences as well as do a performance benchmark by rendering 10,000 objects. So before we begin, just a few disclaimers. This article is for entertainment purposes only. This article is more accurately comparing React with SolidJS as we are not using any Next.js specific features in this comparison. Next.js was mainly used to scaffold the initial React app as it is now the recommended framework for building new React apps. All right, so let's begin. So these were my observations. Uh, so the first one is where to initialize state in SolidJS state, also known as signals in solid terminology, can be initialized in the top level scope. In React, state must be initialized in the component scope, like this. So this is initialized inside of the home component. So achieving this kind of global scope with React requires the use of React context or external state management libraries. All right, so the next thing is where to put functions. So in SolidJS, functions that mutate state can also live in the top level scope. So for example, this handle click function uh, with the mutate uh, can also be in the top level scope. In React, functions that mutate com component state is typically defined in the component function, like this. So most of the state mutation logic is the same between SolidJS and React in both of the apps that we built. Uh, so you can see that this logic here is very similar to the logic here, only this is wrapped in this mutate function. Uh, however, it would look even more similar if I had used the create signal, uh, which is the SolidJS equivalent of use state uh, instead of the create resource um, with SolidJS. Uh, so create resource is more of a shortcut for, fe for fetching data and setting a signal or state. Control flow. So in SolidJS, a loop is achieved with a for component, and conditional rendering is achieved with a show component. So here's an example of that. So I have this show component here uh, that says, hey, when the to-dos are finished loading, show this uh, show this stuff in here, and then uh, we'll fall back to a loading div if it's not ready yet. And then in React, a uh, loop is achieved with a map function, and conditional rendering is achieved with an early return statement. So here's an example. Here's that early return statement in our uh, component, and then here is the, uh, the map. And this is the uh, conditional, right, for React. All right, so on to the performance. So I used Chrome DevTools. Uh, for the performance test, so 10,000 to-do objects were added to the page while being recorded by the profiling tool. So here were the results. Uh, so here is SolidJS, uh, and then here is Next.js. So SolidJS and Next.js performed comparably on rendering, painting system, and idle time. However, SolidJS appears to have a substantial advantage in scripting time. So you can see that uh, with solid, we have 123 milliseconds, Next.js 785 milliseconds. So what's the explanation for that? Well, according to the SolidJS homepage, uh, fine-grained reactivity lets you do more with less. Solid is built with efficient reactive primitives you can use from your business logic to your JSX views. This unlocks complete control over what gets updated and when, even at the DOM binding level. With no virtual DOM or extensive diffing, the framework never does more work than you want it to. All right, so just to run this uh, one more time, or the, uh, the performance test one more time, I'll go here, and then I will go to the performance tab in Chrome, and I'll hit the record. I'll add a thousand to-dos, and then I'll stop the recording and I'll get this result here. And I'll do the same thing with the next app. So I'll hit record, add 10,000 to-dos, and then stop the recording. 
So the results are pretty similar to the uh, previous test that I did. So you can see that uh, everything is about the same except for the scripting time, which is uh, significantly more in our Next.js React version. All right, so the conclusion uh, based on this quick uh, test is, or this, uh, this, this quick tutorial and this quick performance test, is that Solid.js comes with a minimal learning curve if you're already solid with React. Solid.js seems to gain a performance edge by eliminating the necessity for a virtual DOM. And while React and Next.js has more mature ecosystem, Solid.js appears to be a promising cutting edge technology. All right, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you found that helpful, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.